Hi, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin with Consordina.com, here today with another cello lesson for you. And today we're going to continue our work on the bow hold and making a sound by talking about one of the most basic and essential bow strokes that you'll ever use, which is the detache stroke. The detache stroke is just your bread and butter how to play the cello. It's not legato where you slur. It's not marcato where you're really strict with it. Detache is simply where you use the flexibility of the fingers to bow detached, that's a detache, bow strokes. And this is going to be used for, for everything from the eighth notes that you play in symphonic music for cello to the Bach cello suites, uh, a whole myriad of music. Your basic go-to separated but not accented bow stroke is this detache stroke. Okay, so how do you do it? Well, if you've watched the video on just how getting a sound from the cello, I'll do a very quick recap of the difference between a down bow versus an up bow in terms of the physicality of what we're doing. When you do a down bow, you're starting by pronating the wrist. The fingers are, the fingers are if anything, angled out just a little bit. You're really pulling. You can see the fingers responding, though the bow hasn't moved yet. You're really pulling the bow, and you're trying to do so in a way that just starts beautifully Right? So in that video, I talked about doing the whole bow. And you can definitely do like a whole bow detaché, but today we're going to focus more on doing a little bit of a faster, just focusing on the motion. So the up bow, by contrast, is by the time you've gotten out a little bit, you have to re-pronate your wrist so that the wrist can lead and your fingers will kind of trail behind from the other direction this time. So you can see that every bow change, my fingers have to respond. And this is gonna be kind of the key of the detache stroke, but we're gonna talk about a few more finer details and an exercise that you can practice that's just gonna be really helpful. So one thing to note is that for the most part, you want your hairs to be flat on the string for this type of stroke. You wanna be able to use all of the hairs to evenly pull the bow. If you're two on the side, you can hear that wasn't as full of a sound. So we're just trying to get on, on the string. The other thing we want to be aware of is pulling the string at the right angle, right? So basically perpendicular, though, there's going to be some moments where it's a little bit off from that. But basically perpendicular. The reason why it's not strictly speaking perpendicular, is that when you think about it, the most natural place to pull the string would be its halfway point, right? When we pull down here, we're pulling uh, with some tension because there's all this other string then that's on the other side of that. So sometimes you have to bow down a little bit more, but these are things that you're gonna have to feel responding to the string, what the string is telling you. So to start out with, I just want you to do relatively long bows so you still have time to think about where the hand is going. But we're just trying to get a very controlled, try to be on the same point, either um, like a quarter of the way up or like two thirds of the way down. That range is gonna be your bread and butter, most uh, mid-range dynamics on the cello. So we wanna, whatever contact point you you choose in there. I just want you to try to stay consistent to it, try to stay consistent with the bow, and try to stay consistent with the sound, because the sound is really the only thing that people listening are gonna hear anyway. Everything else just contributes to why it will sound good. So just spend some time. Spend some time just experimenting. Note different things. Double check. Truthfully, there's so much to think about. Uh, even as I was working on that, I could probably have spent another 20 minutes just working on that one string. And that's basically what I recommend for you to do. And I've done this and probably will do it later today, come to think of it, just given the fact that um, there's things for me to learn. So just spend some time. Um, ideally, when you combine it with other elements of what we're going to be working on, 
uh, you can fill it up to maybe even an hour. An hour is kind of the typical length to practice scales if you're really trying to be serious about the instrument. And you're going to basically use that data, either that detache or like a four note whole bow legato when you do your basic major and minor scales. So a couple other finer uh, points to note about the detache stroke is that there may be times where you kind of feel like you lift out of the string, even though the bow is still connected. There's kind of a range of this, right? You can be really in the string or you can kind of be floating on top of the string. The way they talk about it in conservatories is that there's basically like four kind of layers of these sounds. So the most basic sound is your what they call your core sound. This is where you're getting a really rich um, sound, where you're really in the string. In addition to the core, you can have the release, where then you basically get kind of out of the string. So this is core. And then we'll release. And then there's a concept called intention of direction, where you really feel that down bow versus the up bow. So we'll actually, it's best to start the whole progression. So we'll start with core. we're going to do intention of direction. Okay, so those are going to be definitely your most uh, basic um, helping guides in trying to get this detache stroke, starting with the core and then to release and then to intention of direction. I guess I said there were four, but I, I must be remembering that each direction is two. Uh, if that's wrong, I'll put it in the description below. And you want to do basically a build-up guide like that. So the exercise that I want to give you is basically to start with an open string and practice the detache stroke in addition to having practiced basic bow hold and uh, getting the full bow direction like we talked about in our other video. But it, by starting on just one string, you're really gonna be able to start honing in on these different elements of sound and the ability to move back and forth without getting too much chinks in the sound. If you are really struggling with that, which is very normal when you're first starting out, the two things I can say about it that are really gonna help you are that you're either too tight with your hand, <laughs> If you're really tight, you're getting sounds like that. The other thing that might be happening is just that you're uh, kind of a corollary to that, but your fingers aren't getting involved enough. So you might be somewhat relaxed. But your fingers just aren't really responding to the string, and then you're gonna not be getting this sound that you want. So truly the bow hold is about not just being relaxed, but really using what is there structurally in your hand to get that bow motion? And again, starting with this concept of core, which is very similar to the, just the bow stroke that we had talked about in the bow hold video, but then being able to get out of the string, have this intention of direction. And you can start experimenting too with just putting fingers down. It's just very different to have a finger down versus an open string, even if you're not quite doing your scales yet, that, is going to be very helpful because it's, it's just different. The string responds differently, not being open, and you can kind of control it with your finger. I mean, vibrato and shifting and all that stuff is controlling it with your finger, these very standard techniques. We're gonna talk about those more in a different video. I hope that this video was helpful for you, gets you started on this on this uh, detache stroke. We're gonna be using it in later videos, talking about basic repertoire coming very soon. So we hope you stick around, keep learning cello with us. Once again, I'm Justin Leopard. You can check out my playing at Justin Leopard Cello. This has been a production with Consordini.com on detache cello bowing. We hope to see you next time. Mm -hmm.